Holy shit, bros. Uh, I almost just died. Out outside. Ooh, the building caught on fire. Uh, I was punching out my glass door. I like not think on it for the life. That's all I. Oh, holy shit. Holy shit, bros. That's uh, that's right on top. That's where I was at down there. Holy shit. Whew. These firemen are amazing. I think. Well, damn, bros. Sometimes in life, something ha things happen that puts everything into perspective. So, yeah, as y'all saw, that was uh, <clears throat> last night. Oh, well, I don't know when you'll be watching this, but two Monday night. Tuesday morning, yeah, the bed guess it'd have been Tuesday morning. Yeah, the apartment next to me caught fire. Um, I woke up, so I woke up around 4:30 in the morning, and I fell asleep in my chair. Thankfully, um, but then I don't know what how long it was. You know, when you wake up and you kind of you snuggle back in to go, fall back asleep. Uh, 10, 15, 30 seconds a minute whatever the smoke alarm popped off and i remember now i remember hearing like there was i could hear shit you know next door but i just so i just assumed dude was like cooking and or something or i don't know and uh so i got up to go out to the hallway to see what the hell was going on to turn the alarm off and man as soon as i opened that door oh, just i i that is a scariest moment of my life man it was a dark black abyss of smoke and instantly a th the top third of my apartment was filled with smoke I mean it was instant and uh and then I just I was staring and I stepped in because I was gonna there's a stairway but then I just it was solid and then I realized no I need to you know, and then I started thinking, thankfully, brain kicked in, like, no, need to call 911. So I closed my door and then ran and to the living room, grabbed my phone, called 911, told them the address. And thank God, well, it's told them the address and then, you know, everything. And then they started asking me a bunch of questions, which I just was like, bro, I'm about to die if I don't get the fuck out of here. So I just put the phone I don't remember if I dropped the phone, put it in my pocket. I don't know exactly. I just, but anyways, because my window is is actually it's not it's like one wind it's not one window it's two little ones, and then there is a bed like a metal frame, and uh, it's like solid metal, and then because it's like a sliding window, and uh, I couldn't fit in the bottom one right, so <clears throat> I knew I had to I had to so I just started smashing it with my hands. That's why my hands were all fucked up. And then punching out, I also punched out the glass, and I was just banging on that metal rod. You know, it was just, just like wood on two wood panels, and then inside it was just like a solid aluminum alloy, I'm assuming. And uh, but just was banging on it, banging on it, and was just fucking my hands. It wasn't giving. And then I had that heck W, that fucking treadmill, bro. If you go back on my chin. Channel the treadmill that fucked my foot up. I never threw it away. I just had it sitting in the bedroom and I grabbed that bitch and started slamming it on it and got it to give and bend a little bit and then got it to wiggle and then I just ripped was able to rip the whole window frame out of the wall and then it climbed up and and uh, got out was yelling fire was banging on windows you know but what really freaked me out as soon as I got got up out of that fire escape the window next to me, which, you know, the apartment next to me is the one that caught fire. There's five or ten foot flames just shooting out of that window. And, man, that, that was that was freaky. And then uh, a police officer came running up asking, was asking me questions. Are you okay? And then I started answering. Everything's kind of a fog after that. And then I was just freaking out because, you know, I knew, I mean, I hadn't seen anyone else come out and then this dude named Roy who was in an apartment next to me said that I woke him up with my voice and he climbed up out of his apartment and then there was a I knew there was a girl in another apartment downstairs that I hadn't seen and then there was there's two bigger apartments upstairs and you know I was 
banging on her door and shit. And I mean, I wasn't getting no response or anything, but apparently she was at work. So she was, that was fine. But everyone got out, you know, even the guy, I, I, it's a miracle. I have no idea how, but even the guy who, I mean, thank God, even the guy whose apartment went up, man, like they, they, the, the fire department got there so fast then they were able to put that fire out and bring him out and resuscitate him. And, uh, I mean, because he had to have been out. Like, it was thick, solid smoke. And, uh, so, I mean, I, he's the only one that had to go to the hospital. They were going to take me, but I, I didn't want to pay no $1,000 or whatever bill. So, I just had the, the EMT cleaned it off a little bit. And then this is, this is from me. And I went to Walmart and got some stuff and dressed it. It's... Not too bad, it was right here as you'll you'll see. All right, this is what we're working with, bros. <clears throat> but we are, there's a couple lacerations there, but that'll be all right. The main one I'm worried about is right there, but that flap of skin's already started to heal and close. I, I cleaned it good first, so we're gonna be good. So yeah, it's, it's scraped and there's a couple, there's definitely, I think, three total lacerations, but the one right here, these are the worst ones right there because they're right on my knuckle and there's an actual chunk, like flap of skin, but I cleaned it real good and my body heals so fast just in the few hours from the time I cleaned it at a gas station to, or just in the few hours from the time the EMT, you know, cleaned my wounds with saline and all that and wrapped the gauze around it they had already started to close up. So that's good. I just cleaned them through some with peroxide and everything and then put some iodine on it and uh, cleaned it up good with saline solution, like a wound wash. And I was gonna use uh, some super glue, but decided since it was already starting to close on an end, I just left it and then uh, got it real good with iodine and put some stereo strips and that, uh, adrenaline pumping i mean i would have smashed my hand into a thousand pieces to get out of that fucking place that was absolutely terrifying bros and unfortunately i didn't really get any footage footage or anything my brain just wasn't thinking that like i was just thinking about you know everyone everyone safe and everything and then and then also there was gas there so that was in the back of my head like they would say it's a we have gas stoves and everything so you know who you never know in that scenario so yeah, and then the other chick finally, uh, I think the someone she woke up to someone and uh, someone something got her up and then she ran out and she ran up the stairs and out the front door and uh, yeah and then like I said the absolute W my not fire department I mean you guys are absolutely amazing that's literally the most terrifying thing I've ever seen is that wall is it was pitch black and that. It's just something you don't, it's not something you can ever like, I don't give, like no one could ever describe that to me. You could never describe that to someone and have them understand how fucking terrifying that is. And if, and I just keep thinking like, for one thing, I'm never going to get that image out of my mind. When I open, first open that door and that smoke just, oh, just came in and the adrenaline and the shit just fucking came out of, you know, my body's flooded with that adrenaline. Like, oh my God, I'm about to die. And then just looking in that black abyss of smoke, like that man, there's just that that's always gonna be with me, and that just gives me the weebie jeebies thinking about it and just how and it really like I understand now how people get caught and also why you should never open doors. I mean, obviously I didn't know there was a fire when I opened my door, but I can see why not opening your door because there was no smoke in my apartment. I had no idea a fire was going on or nothing and then as soon as I opened that door that went from my apartment being just fine well obviously it wasn't just fine but in reality but seemingly fine to top third of it just a thick wall of smoke and just gaining quick like every second smoke's just pouring in there and then man it, I inhaled I took one big gulp right when it that whoosh and I you know I was you know and I got a big lung full of smoke and then I'm just sitting there thinking like oh my god and I you know dipped down and got out of the smoke and so I only got one big lung full of it but man that I don't know I don't even know what uh, fired 
alarm went off. I don't know if it was one in a hallway or what, but man, that fire alarm, because I, I had no idea something was going on. So that would have just kept cooking until I smelt smoke or something if that fire alarm hadn't went off. And that definitely saved that dude in that apartment. And uh, the fire department saved him because they got there so fast. And uh, I mean, they're literally, I think maybe two minutes from when I called them. And of course, time's all distorted, but it, it, it had to be, I mean, I don't think it took me more than about a minute to get out of that window. Um, and then they were there. So W, Minot, North Dakota Fire Department, Police Department, all y'all fucking gangsters, bro. That's, um, that's amazing. So, um, <clears throat> I was, I was telling them too. I think they were kind of sick and wanted me to just shut up at there at the end. <laughs> I mean, I was just thanking all of them because that was, yeah, even with that mask on that, I would not want to walk into that. There's just something about that black and it's it just solid black, like just absolute pitch dark. And, uh, and then they walk into that shit and they don't know the layout. They don't know where stairs are. They don't know nothing. And, uh, man, but anyways, I'll find out. Well, I mean, I'll make a vlog, a whole vlog out of this. So whenever I post this, I'll know more right now. I don't know any of the status of the apartment or anything. I assumed everything was gone, but they got there so quick and got it put out. I think they may have saved. I mean, of course, the main thing was they saved the people and that's what mattered. He we alive though, bros. Whoo! All right, skinny team teeth. Just finally got a shower. No change of clothes though, but that's all right. At least we're clean. Our skin is clean. Whew. Okay. There we go. Let's get these wounds stitched up. All right, bros. I'm here to pick up a few things. The firemen are cleaning shit up, so I'm gonna get out of their hair. But I just wanted to show y'all. This is. This is a place that went up right here, right next to me. And then that's the window I busted out. And they're closing it up right now. So, yeah. <clears throat> Holy shit. <clears throat> These firemen are amazing. They are here in not even just a couple minutes. Oh. All right, we're seeing. This was just completely solid black, full of smoke. Holy shit. That's a miracle. He's alive. That's... Holy shit, that's amazing. Okay. Holy fuck. Okay, I thought... I thought it was going to eat through the walls. Oh, that's just a little bit of smoke smell. Holy shit. Okay, cool. And can I give you a hug? I mean, yeah, man. Thank you. I, yeah, thank, you. I, thank you all. Yeah, I heard someone went through the window. I was like, thank God. But like, it's probably it was a good thing you, you closed your door. Okay. When you, you yeah, know, you I saw. I was, yep. I was eventually. I was initially. I was thinking about running up there. Yeah. But then I was like, no, we need nine one one, and then so I closed that, and then I called y'all, and then I thought, mm -hmm. let me just go out the window, and I had to break because this shit, I couldn't, my fat ass couldn't fit. Sure. So I had to break. Well, that that was like a metal one of those on my other one. Yep. Yep. It was a good thing you you closed the door when you saw you, you did not go that way because yeah, it probably came in here then. That was crazy. Okay. Um. Yeah. Well, then I'll get out of y'all's hair. No, yeah, you can grab whatever you, whatever you need. I don't really have so. room to grab. Much y'all are boarding everything up. Yes, I'm yeah, gonna so come back. All the windows and, and whatnot that are open, so people can't get in here. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So then, while y'all are doing that, let me just go. Cause he sent me a, a ad. This is the apartment that went up. <laughs> Holy shit! Look at this shit, bros. This is crazy. Fucking bedroom. That's fucking wild. That's right next to where I sleep. Holy fuck. Holy shit, bros. Well, we're in our temporary abode. Oh, man. I mean, all we got is a camp chair, but 
That'll work. I should be able to get some sleep on this thing. Tomorrow, I'll figure out what else we're going to do. Uh, I don't know. My, my, some, my furniture may be toast, but I'm going to figure that all tomorrow. I just wanted to get the essential things. And, uh, yeah, I'm worn out. And, um, so it'll be a rough few weeks or whatever, but we'll do. We'll do. I mean, I ain't even tripping. Like, every tiny time anything even remotely that would annoy me, I just, bro, like, it, it's, like, I don't even, it's, a, mo a day like this just puts so many things in perspective and you realize how petty so many things are. So, <clears throat> always looking for the positive. Just changed everything again because obviously everything's covered in soot, so moving shit and all that I was covered in soot and you know I I didn't go to the hospital because I wasn't going to pay the massive bill and then the stupid urgent care places they won't quote me so I don't know I'm just taking care of it myself it's it should be all right there's I've had worse I mean this is like a really nasty knee scrape falling off your bike the one that's dangerous is this one I mean there's a pretty big flap of skin but it's already started to seal and it's not hot. I'm just paying attention to it. I mean, if it gets hot and then painful, I'll tell you. And of course, every, there's so many little cuts on here. You don't realize until you wash your hands. It's like I'm washing my hands in razor blades. There's so many little cuts and you can't even see them. It doesn't seem like I have that many, but it's crazy. And, uh, but good thing is that'll only take like one or two days to heal. So keep an eye on this one. I got stair strips. And all that. And, I mean, shit, yeah, you can read. It still hasn't completely sealed. It's still bleeding through the gauze, but <clears throat> it's all good. And that's going to be, I got to, we got to, obviously got to clear everything out of that apartment. Uh, the whole, everything, because so the serve pro people can come in there and start working on it for the owner and all that. I don't know how long I'll be out of that apartment, but I'll find that out, I think, more in the coming days. But for right now, I think I've got some sandwich, or well, not sandwich, but I got my low carb tortillas that I showed them. But I just grabbed some, I, I got, just grabbed some of these at the dollar store, and then I got this out of my fridge because I had a shitload of these. Yeah, it's not the most nutritious dinner. That's I haven't eaten at all today, so that's a one. All the fasting's coming in handy. I was perfectly fine all day, no food, so.